Leve Steller 65 inch OLED. This is the, the accessories that we are receiving. This is a leaflet with all the products of Leve. Inside here we have the remote control with backlit buttons, aluminum, premium. You see, here are the batteries. Close this. Elastic on the back. So this is the leve on the back. We remove the back cover. Here is the back, uh, the electronics of the TV. As you can see, the the finish of, of the back cover is the lava. They call it. This TV comes in concrete finish as well. This is lava from volcanoes, natural one. And they have the know-how. Leve has the know-how how to put the lava on the back in order to look black the TV on the back side. So here are the electronics. As we know, Leve is using the LG Displays panel. This is the Meta 3.0, the new one, the latest one, with the four layers. Has on the on the side has these inputs: USB-C, USB. -C, USB 2.0 optical out and HDMI 1. Here are the wireless connectivity. Let's examine the speakers. Lev is using this kind of speakers. Two drivers here, one race track driver. Here is the on-off mechanical button. That's very nice. The mains are here. As you can see here, this board here, we have discovered this in G5 as well. It comes with a panel. This has the electronics and the driving chipset is underneath here that drives the TV around or the panel I mean drives the panel the SAS is metallic this is the one the flash driver one terabyte I think SSD driver yes with one terabyte as you can see there it's a SSD one terabyte so this TV has this feature that saves what we see what we watch it saves or we can do Time shift, you can record different channels than the one that we are watching. Let's check the inputs to see. Yeah, it has, uh, you see, as you can see here, it has uh, two tuners to do all this. And this one is the, this one is the um, class D amplifications, amplification for the two, for the speakers. You see the one speaker is this black and white cable and the red and black is the other speaker. Underneath we have the light, like happy light, you see here. Leve has implemented here the, in one side, ambi light, that you can change the color as the Philips one. The, the idea is from the underneath here we have the processor of a modern television with the latest panel. Other inputs we have here, uh, HDMI 2, three more HDMI's here, the two of them are 2.1, 2.1 to connect your console here or there. There is a game mode on TV, a game bar as well. Another USB-C here, USB 2.0, LAN, the double tuners, CI card there. So it's very well designed TV. That's why it costs 6,000 euros. Leve buys the panel, not the panel, the cell, as they say, the glass of LG displays and, and tries to make and makes its own uh, power supply here. As you can see, this is the power supply. It's very well uh, treated in order to drive it, the panel in a better way than the other OLED televisions. Leve likes the high-end approach to this uh, aspect to make a better TV. So we see the cables. Electronics are just taking that part of the TV. The rest is the chassis. You see it's the lava backside. Since the TV is based on the Vida OS, this processor here is MediaTek. Nice components, nice work from Leve. German company, as you know. I think this TV is not available in the in North America or in other regions, except uh, Europe and Australia, I'm not sure. Here we can see the drivers of the, sp the speakers, the speaker, here it's a closed box. Fires in front, you see the grill that fires. We have two full range, let's say, mid range, full range uh, drivers, plus one tweeter there. So that consists the speaker of the TV, and this one are, are for the bass. 
So audio wise, it's two dot zero channels. Leve has different stellar stellars in the market. There is a stellar with the previous one with a Tizen operating system, but not all Dolby Vision. This one has Dolby Vision. That's why it's following the Vita operating system. So we put everything back together. That. Even if you have two TVs, they are not the same. They have different footprint on the back, different lava pattern. Underneath a light line, and then we see the video operating system. Let's examine the TV. It's the, as you can see, it's the Vida, Vida 9, I think. Screen sharing, content sharing, music sharing, HDMI, have connected something to HDMI 1, settings. So we have cinema, dynamic, sports, standards, picture mode settings, all sources, yes, advanced settings, it's like this, color. Since it has the new panel from LG display, we're gonna measure the brightness, game mode, let's put it auto. 2345 in 1%, now we're in 25, so the panel reaches up to up to 2,400, and the minimum, let's say, 100% window, it's almost 260 nits, 260 nits. Dynamic mode for HDR, but if we go to cinema, it goes be lower, uh, 1,500 nits, maximum brightness, it depends on the mode. P3 gamut coverage, it's almost 100% in both specs here. Now let's measure the BT to edit to edit gamut coverage of the TV. It's this one, 75%, uh, 78%. Like the LG G5, I think, almost there are the measurements. So Vida 9 is this one. We have crunch, crunch roll as well. Art, this, come from high, this, this comes from Hisense Canvas TV lineup, art. One thing is that uh, Leve helped uh, to develop the VIDA operating system because Leve has had developed uh, its own operating system, but uh, Leve OS they call it, but then uh, VIDA came and they bought the core of this operating system and now we have VIDA, I mean the basics of VIDA comes from the Leve, from Leve, so there is a connection here between Leve and the Vida operating system. From the Hisense, let's say, art store, or Vida art store now, because Vida is not only in Hisense, Hisense anymore. Vida, you can find Vida operating system in other TVs as well these days, not only in Hisense, in Leve and much more, and many more. Toshiba in Japan, I think. Let's check the gaming features of the TV. It's the MI4, it's the 120Hz, 4K, as we can see here, TV details, everything is green. Since we have Dolby Vision this time, because of Vida, and we have the VRR and the LLM, everything enabled, like Dolby Vision and Auto HDR. So underneath, we're trying to play a bit, just to check the feature, the gaming feature. So underneath we can see the game bar, which is like transparent, as you can, as you can see. Map zoom, menu, aim point, uh, game uh, picture mode, starter, Dolby, game menu. So this is the game HDMI. Picture mode Dolby Vision for gaming, it's enabled. Karaoke mode. Game menu. Is this one? Has this uh, zoom as the all the TVs the, lately? They have in this zoom to zoom a part of the image. No, the game, the, the, it's 9.1 milliseconds for Full HD, 9.1 milliseconds as all the OLED TVs in this category. In the middle it's 
seven milliseconds, and down there is 16.4 milliseconds. So, very nice input lag for the TV. You see, now we're at nine milliseconds. The motion of the TV is very nice. I haven't touched anything. Very beautiful. Hands handles very well the content. That means it has a nice video processing in this TV. Beautiful, guys. This is not easy. Most TVs are, uh, you can see some artifacts here, but this one, it's beautiful. That means Leve has produced something interesting here. Even this uh, hard to reproduce pattern, test pattern, looks very smooth and very nice in motion. Does not leave any tails or shadows around the peppers. Now I'm playing content of 2000 nits. So TV does, does not do any tone mapping, mapping since in this 2000 nit content, since has, since has all the dynamics to produce it as is. So that's a good thing. So we can see here clarity, we can see here details, you can see here enjoy HDR, the brightness, native brightness at, as is. TV is capable of doing this because of the 2000 plus nits max brightness that can deliver. Butterfly stays there, color, color gamut as we have seen P3 is 100%, so no errors. BT2020 is 75%. Okay, it's a TV, it's beautiful. It's, you cannot have maximum BT2020 content. I mean, Netflix is uh, not even using 10% of BT2020. This one. Uh, this TV captures up to 75%. Beautiful TV. It's a European model. They take the LG display panel and they modify it with a better, as, you, as we have seen, with a better power supply. They're using the same components, but better power supply and they put some, one layer, I think, in front. In Germany, they are doing some modification in this Meta 3. Dot zero panel. So we have Vida, we have OLED, it's like a high sense TV with OLED panel from LG display, the, the latest uh, edition, let's say, of the panel Meta 3.0. Hisense does not uh, manufacture such a TV, but Leve does. So beautiful TV, has even the Abbey light of, from Philips underneath the, there online. Nice design, the la lava finish on the back. So this Leve, even though it costs 6,000 euro, it's almost a high-end TV, it's a premium TV because it's using good components for the electronics, using uh, better power supply, the design is uh, absolutely gorgeous. Everything is nice here, guys. Thank you for watching. See you next time. That was the Leve Stellar 65 of the year 2025. This is not the last, the last year's 2024 model, but it, this is the latest one, 2025 model with Vida and not Tizen operating system. Has Dolby Vision, has AirPlay too. Thanks for watching, guys.